One of the risks of playing sports is getting hurt. An injury we uh, hear a lot about these days is a torn ACL. ACL injuries are very common. In fact, that people would call it maybe a bit of an epidemic lately, especially in our younger athletes. The ACL is a ligament that helps stabilize the knee joint. Playing basketball, football, soccer, or tennis puts you at the highest risk of injury. About half of those who do get hurt need reconstructive surgery. WCCO's Angela Davis discovered new advice on how long athletes should be sidelined after that operation. It is amazing what the human body in its best form can do. But when an athlete gets hurt and the diagnosis is ruptured ACL, you know what that means, a long recovery process. When you tear that ACL, it just splays apart. It looks like crab meat almost. And those mechanoreceptors, that nervous tissue, that sensor system is completely disrupted. 16-year-old Lizzie Saxon plays soccer for Apple Valley High School. Hockey, too. Last June, during a soccer game, she tore the ACL in her left knee. The girl was coming at me with the ball because I play defense, and so she kicked it behind me. So I went to stop on my one leg, and it kind of just gave out, and I fell. Doctors have traditionally advised ACL patients to wait 6 to 12 months after surgery before returning to their sport. But this spring, researchers at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester shared a different opinion. This is actually a, quite a controversial idea because all these surgeons, physiotherapists, athletic trainers are putting these kids back at 6 to 12 months, but they're really not ready to go back. Dr. Timothy what, Hewitt what? and his team at the Mayo Sports Medicine Research Center reviewed years of data on ACL injuries and recoveries. They say there is evidence the body needs two years to fully recover from reconstructive surgery after an ACL tear. If you look at recovery of things like proprioception, sensation of your knee joint, they don't return until about two years after the injury. So you don't sense the joint as well. You don't, you don't control your body as well. Dr. Hewitt says by not waiting two years, athletes are returning to their sport before they've regained balance of the knees and hips and before damaged nerve tissue has healed. The early return creates a high risk of re-injury. But the problem with waiting two years is you're, you're going to miss opportunity. Nobody wants to do it. It's based on data, and sometimes people's minds don't quite wrap around data. They wrap around emotion. So no swelling at all. That's great. Excellent range of motion. It bends very nicely. Nine months after Lizzie's reconstructive surgery on her left knee, she's back at soccer practice. Six months after her surgery, she was back on the ice playing hockey. At the beginning, I was definitely like, this is going to take a while to get back. And then there's kind of a point where I was like, wow, I feel really good and everything. Dr. Jason Holm is Lizzie's orthopedic surgeon. Her recovery included strength training, balance exercises, and extensive testing along the way. Physical therapists also taught her ways to avoid re-injury. I was able to build the strength back up and sort of learn how do I land, how do I land so that I'm not planting and letting that knee cave in and buckle so the, so the ACL is at risk. So what does the surgeon think of waiting two years instead of six months to a year? He says every patient is different and recovery times can vary widely. It does nothing but tell me that, you know, we just, we have a ways to go and I don't think it needs to be. Uh, a full two years. Dr. Holmes says the Mayo Clinic's findings are valuable. They give surgeons a resource to share with patients so they can understand just how complicated and serious an ACL injury can be. Very stable. Angela Davis, WCCO 4 News. Doctors say teenage girls are at higher risk of ACL injuries than boys and tears often happen with no contact.